Hey, what's up guys? Today is a very exciting day because we are unboxing the Asus ProArt PA278C V 27 inch monitor and I cannot wait to actually unbox this because I have finally got a color accurate monitor. And the reason why I want a color accurate monitor is actually because I want obviously my videos and my photos to be color accurate when I am color grading them. Because at the minute on my previous bank monitor, every time I have been color grading my videos and also some of my photos, they've actually not been coming out how I see them on the actual monitor. And the great thing about this monitor as well is that it is 100% srgb and also 100 rec 709 so it's not just srgb it also has the 100 rec 709 color space and as you know the industry standard is rec 709 for example whenever you get log footage you put a rec 709 LUT on to actually convert the actual log footage to rec 709 so the fact that this monitor has a 100 rec 709 color space is absolutely amazing and i just can't wait to start using it so we'll actually go through some of the specs of this monitor and what makes it so good so it's actually got a 2560 by 1440p resolution Resolution. So it's not 4k because you don't actually need 4k I'd say you can completely do photo editing and video editing without a 4k monitor Even if you are editing 4k footage and also it's an IPS panel which actually makes it for ultra wide viewing angles So if you are viewing it from the side and not straight on you'll still see the exact same colors and resolution It won't go faded like some monitors It will be the exact same as whatever angle you're actually viewing it at like I mentioned earlier 100% rec 709 and srgb as well So it's brilliant for color grading it's got a pro art preset so basically i think i'm pretty sure this is already calibrated completely out of the box six axis color adjustment and then it's also got a frameless design so it's really nice and sleek when it is on your desk a usb c type monitor as well so you can connect it through usb type c which is amazing it's also got a usb hub built in basically so you can plug all your different accessories into this monitor and it can actually all come off that one monitor itself instead of having to use different hubs and plugging different things in different places so there's many different cables four-way ergonomic stand so if you do have a normal 16 by 9 monitor like let's say if you already have one of these as well you can get another one of these and actually turn it vertically to have it like a vertical monitor as well so it's great if you do want to pick two of these up to have like room for that for example if you've got a small desk like mine you can have one 16 by 9 and then one vertical as well ultra low blue light as well so it's great for working at night flicker free which is crucial for me because i can't explain and can't get over enough how bad my old bank monitor was at flickering all it did was just flicker all the time because for some reason i researched it i've brought different cables i've done different things to try and fix it none of it actually worked for some reason max and banks don't go well together for some reason if you have a macbook and a bank computer monitor for some reason it will actually flicker like mad and i don't actually have a video of it but basically every time the screen went dark especially it would flicker like crazy and it just made me have a crazy headache i had to change the color profile again so it was even more inaccurate colors as well it was just absolutely terrible so if this is flicker free like it says this is going to be probably one of the biggest actual advantages for me even maybe over the color space just because of how much that gives me problems and headaches and it's also wall mountable as well so if you don't have much space on your desk at all to actually put it down you can actually obviously mount it to the walls to save some space so they're the actual specs of this beast of a monitor itself let's get this thing unboxed let's get it plugged in and let's see what this monitor is all about We've got a USB-C cable and I actually wasn't sure if this was actually going to be coming with it or not. So I'm really happy this is actually in with the box. We've got HDMI cable as well, which is always nice. And then the actual power cable as well. And it's also got this really easy like built-in screw mount as well. And here it is, here is the monitor. Look how nice it actually looks. It looks so sleek, looks so good. You've got the four, or not four, sorry, you've got the six buttons on the front here. You've actually got, I think, two USB ports on the side as well, and then you've got loads of ports underneath as well. So I'm really looking forward to actually testing all of them out and just testing this monitor in general. I love the stand. You can actually like tilt it up as much high as you want. The stand is really nice. I actually have this metal stand to actually keep it quite high. And I don't think I need this anymore because it's actually a really nice height for me anyway. But I like obviously the more I actually use it, I'll see if I need this stand still or not. But if I can get without it, it'll be even better because this stand can actually get in the way sometimes. But overall, first impressions are absolutely loving this monitor. So let's get it all plugged in and let's just see what this color and actually see what this screen it actually looks like. 
So I've now actually been able to use this monitor for a couple of weeks now because I actually filmed the first part of this video two or three weeks ago now. So I've actually had a chance to use and test it out, see what I like about it and see what I don't like about it. And overall, I've got to say, I absolutely love this monitor. There is one major flaw that I actually did find with it, especially if you're using a Mac. So keep that in mind that we were talking about that at the end. And I actually thought it might have been that bad. I might actually have to return it and get a new one. However, I have found a fix now. So if you do want to find out that, what that fix is and what the problem Problem is make sure you stick to the end to actually find out. So let's just talk about the things that I do love about this monitor first, and that is just the color. The color accuracy is amazing. sRGB 100%, Rec 709 100%, and there is actually a DCI-P3 color space as well. If you actually go into the menus and go over the Pro Art palette, you can actually click on the DCI-P3 color space. I've just sticked to the Rec 709 color space at the minute because that is the industry standard, and at the minute I am finding it so good when I actually do color grade my photos and my videos. Because when I do actually transfer my photos straight over to my phone, I don't, you probably can't see this, but it looks the exact same as it does on the monitor. And with my old monitor, it didn't do that at all. It did look a little bit different every now and again when I did edit some photos and videos. But now when I actually am editing some videos and photos, it looks the exact same from my phone or a TV than it does on this monitor. So that's great because when I actually do deliver client photos or videos, they need to be exactly what I see because if I do actually color grade a certain video or photo in a way and then show the client, they actually might see it differently and might think it looks bad or less contrasty or even too much contrast. So the fact that whatever I do to my photos and videos on this actual monitor actually applies to the actual photo and video 100% accurately. Now getting onto the user experience, I've got to say first, it just looks amazing. These sleek bezels are absolutely a joy to look at and it just looks so good when it is on your desk. And like I said before, with the flickering on my old monitor, gave me so many headaches and it was unusable to use sometimes. It, it was just ridiculous, especially on dark screens. With the flicker-free technology in this monitor, I don't get any more flickering screens anymore. I don't get as nowhere near as many headaches either when I actually do use this monitor because it's just crazy flickering on the other one. There's no flickering on this and as well with it being an IPS panel, if I actually look at the screen from the side, it's the exact same as looking at it dead on and that's because it's the IPS panel. There's no reflections, there's no different colour adjustments when you do look at it from the side. It's all the same no matter which angle you look at. So it's great when you're looking at different angles. It's great because it doesn't flicker and the colour is just so good. There's so many things to like about this monitor and the build quality as well is just so good. With that as well, having the USB hub in there as well, having so many different ports to actually connect your accessories and your different wires to it. You can also connect it one cable to the USB-C to your MacBook as well to beam it straight to the monitor. However, like I said earlier, there is one major flaw when I actually did find this monitor, especially if you have a Mac, and that is because basically the way Macs actually like display their resolution and pixels. They use something called HIDPI, I think it's called, and that's how they can get crystal clear text and just make everything so clear when you actually are looking at it. However, when you actually go to change the settings on the actual monitor, because it's only a 1440p monitor, when you actually are using a 4K monitor, you don't actually get this problem. So that's why I don't think I noticed it before with my other um, monitor, but I actually don't really remember that now. And with their Apple displays as well, one goes up to 5K, so you're gonna get crystal clear text. But when you actually are using this monitor, because it is a 1440p monitor, there is no default native option of uh, displaying 1440p at HIDPI, which actually means that the text on the actual monitor itself was very, very blurry and it wasn't clear at all. And it was actually giving me a little bit of eye strain. So it wasn't nowhere near as bad as the flicker, like it did give me the headaches and eye strain. But it was actually quite bad to the point where I couldn't really see what I was looking at because it was that blurry and it was really noticeable. I actually thought I might have to, have to return this monitor and buy the 4K version. And I really didn't want to do that. So I've done some digging and I found a software called Better Display. And you do have to pay for it, but I'm pretty sure it's only £18 upfront forever. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's not monthly and I'm hoping it's not yearly either. I don't mind if it's yearly, but I just don't want it to be monthly because that's a lot of money. I don't think it will be that. I'm hoping it's just a one-time purchase because at the minute I'm using the free trial. It basically unlocks your Mac and unlocks your monitor's resolution to so many different uh, resolutions basically and it allows you to set 1440p at HIDPI setting so you can get that crystal clear text. Now basically I use the first one and you can just click set resolution. I click the top one and it was still a little bit blurry for me. 
However, because there's so many, I've clicked the fourth one down and I can actually see it now. It's a lot more clearer. If you do didn't have this at all, the only native HIDPI setting was 720p and one that obviously doesn't look that good at all anyway, but it just makes everything so big and it doesn't really allow you to have that much room when you actually are editing photos and videos, especially it just makes the timeline massive. So that's why obviously I wanted a bigger resolution to actually space things more out and just so it looks nicer. But this better display actually allowed me to use a high resolution uh, 60 hertz as well and uh, have HIDPI, which makes all the text clear. So that is the one solution and that actually fixes the only main problems I've actually had with this monitor because overall I've absolutely loved it. I think the color accuracy is amazing. I think it looks amazing on my desk. I think the actual ergonomics and build quality is amazing if i want to mount it to the wall i can if i wanted to buy a second one i can turn it up vertically as well and have a second one to the side it's just so good this monitor overall and obviously the anti flicker is so crucial for me i'm loving this monitor so far you have a ruler section on the bottom as well if you do want to do some like design stuff but overall, I do think you should actually invest in your money into this monitor because it is so good for color accuracy, for headaches in general. And the IPS monitor on this just looks so nice and it looks so good on the desk. So if you do want to go purchase this monitor, I will leave a link in the description below. And if you did enjoy this video, why not hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. If you did enjoy this video, why not watch my two year review on my Apple M1 MacBook Air that you can actually click on right here because I absolutely love this laptop so much. And even though there's the M1, M2 Pro and M2 Max MacBooks out now that can deliver amazing performance. The M1 MacBook Air can still deliver Unreal performance on Lightroom and Premiere Pro and all the other softwares out there. So if you do want to go see that video, why not click on this video next?